What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Scott about Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, you guys. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are here for another helping of Yes for the Mess. This is going to be one of those short Yes for the Messes, you guys. You already know that when it's short, I don't be on camera. And on top of that, y'all, I am absolutely tired. I've worked six days straight, about to go into my seventh day, and you know I'm headed to Chicago on Friday. Now, that doesn't mean that the content will be stopping just because I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to have my own hotel room um i will be putting out content while i'm in chicago so don't get it twisted i still will be doing my reviews for bill collective i'll be doing my reviews for the real housewives of atlanta i'll be doing my yes for the misses if there are needed to be done yes they will be done so there will still be some content for you guys waiting for you guys okay so yes i'm gonna be in chicago from friday through monday so even though i'm, I'm gonna be on vacation for the weekend i'm still gonna be pumping out the content for y'all so don't worry don't you worry don't you worry that's why i bought the laptop so i can work when i'm out of town but before we get into today's mess um Let's talk about Boys Night Out. Now, Boys Night Out is returning next week. And instead of Friday, August the 13th, uh, August the 12th, it will be Saturday, August the 13th. So we pushed the day back to Saturday because Jamar has to film that Friday. That Because, you know, that original day was Friday, August the 12th. But now it's August 13th on a Saturday night. Jamar has to film his first scene for um, this new um, film that he's doing. So we wanted to start Boys Night Out. Boys Night Out off with all five of us. We want to open up the first show with all five of us. We already know that there will be some shows where everybody can't make it. But uh, we wanted to make sure that... Um, Wanted to make sure that everybody was there. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much the gist of it. So we will be opening up the show on Saturday, August the 13th, and the time will be 9.45 uh, Eastern time. We may push it up to 10, 9 Eastern. I mean, we, we may push it up to 10, 9 Central so Josiah can get home in time for us to open up because I definitely don't want to. I don't really want to open it up with just four of us and then have Josiah come in late, but if that's what we got to do, then that's what we got to do. As long as we have our five of us on the show, that is fine. So Boys Night Out will be returning on next Saturday, next Saturday night. And it's probably going to be, I'm just going to say 10, 9 central for the time being. But, you know, we'll figure that out. But um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mess for today. Now, we're here to talk about Melody Holt and um, Martell Holt. We're here to talk about them two again. And apparently, um, there's been some stuff going on with this, with this, um, with this, with this custody battle, um, is that a standstill at this point? You know, Martel thought he was going to be a dirty and low-down bastard. That's what he really thought, but it's not happening the way that he thought it was. And now um, they're, they're taking shots at each other on Instagram and all of this other stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like Martel is kind of pissed off at Mill. We don't know what has happened, but they were a united front just a couple of months ago, and now they're already falling out. So, let's get into um, what they've been posting on Instagram. Now, the first thing that we saw was Melody Hope posting, follow your spirit, trust your spirit. It'll never lead you wrong. Sometimes we don't listen, but oh, the times we do. I look at so many recent things and traps set up against me, Expecting me to have an egg on my face and my spirit said no only later to find out about the trap Yeah, I'm gonna keep on isolating and elevating because it works. Hmm Sorry, I had to sip on my coat but mm. So what has taken place at this point? What is really going on at this point? Because, you know, like I said, you know, Melody and Martell were a united front. You know, back in May, they were a definite united front. You know what I'm saying? Like they was out here fighting bitches together, doing all types of stuff together as, as baby mama, baby daddy. So it looked like we had, you know, some type of. I don't want to say the word grace because that's not the the right word. They had some type of um, relationship. Like they were working on their co-parenting relationship. They was working on being better to each other and all of this other stuff. So at this particular point, I just want to know what's really going on between them. But, you know, that's not all. We're going to go ahead and get into it. So then Martel took um, to Instagram and started being shady, saying certain things as parents we should miss. I won't miss birthdays, holidays, school functions. Well, I guess I ain't missing anything. Happy first day back to my fifth, fourth, and first graders and smart and very well-rounded kids. Okay? So that's what was said. Okay? So um, when it comes down to it, he's throwing shade at Melody. I'm guessing... 
this is just my interpretation. So you, you, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong here. This is my interpretation. I'm feeling like Melody may have missed something because she had to work or some shit like that, and he's taking shots at uh, he's taking shots at her. You know, because that's normally what he does. He's always taking shots. He's always doing this. He's always doing that. He's always trying to take the opportunity to make her look like a bad damn mom all the time. So with this being said, you know, he's been taking his shots. He already filed for full custody already. So it, to me, it's looking like he's trying to take shots at her. And I just feel like at this point, Martel, you really need to grow up. Like you had some of these women at the palm of your hand at this point earlier this earlier this year when you were sitting out there fighting Marceau and them off the sake of them talking about your kids and Millie had your back so now I like I said I don't know what's going on I don't know what has transpired between you and Mill, but right now it really looks messed up and it looks crazy at this point I don't know what's going on but y'all gotta figure that out for real for real especially when it comes down to these kids now y'all done got back cool only for y'all to fall out again child this is a mess that's all I gotta say about it honey that's really all I gotta say so we're gonna move on to the next thing so someone said I wish you had this type of energy in your marriage, but I'm still hopeful for you, for you getting your family back in one household. Then Martel say, you are kidding, right? Y'all sideline folks shaking my head. I had this energy since day one. Never slack. Ask someone who knows me slash us. More shade and melody. And then someone said, y'all are stupid. Now one of you followers of hers asked her the question of why. Go ask that. Can you not read? Go ask her. So at this point, like I said, I, it feels like Melody has missed something. That's how it comes across. It feels like Melody has missed something at this point, and he's pissed off about it, and he's doing what he normally does, and that is making her out to be the worst parent in the world because she missed something. Martel, Martel, Martel. Child, I just don't understand. But this is all interpretation. This is all alleged. We really don't know what the fuck is going on between these two. And we probably ain't going to know until next month when the show returns. And especially when Roasted Review returns. And you know what? I'm going to go out on the limb and try to get more Love and Marriage Huntsville interviews. How about that? Because me and Jamar, we're going to interview some of the ladies from Bill Collective. We haven't um, made our rounds yet. The, the one person that we do know that we're interviewing is Latrice, but we're going to make our rounds with the rest of them this time around. But I definitely want to get more Love and Marriage Huntsville in, interviews Um when 4B returns, um, I know a lot of people be telling me they want me to interview Melody, but I know that's not going to happen. I Like I said, a lot of stuff about her. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes people don't take others' opinions um, lightly. I'm not saying that that's what she's done with me at all. You know, I don't even think she know who I am. But, you know, I, you know. I'm, I wasn't surprised that she did, you know, like the interview with Bundy and all of them, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, or the, or the interview with uh, Funky Dineva or the interview with DJ Richie Sky, you know, people like that. I don't see her doing an interview with me. You know, it wouldn't hurt to try to get one, but I don't see her doing an interview with me at all, you know, but you know who knows um so we got one more thing to talk about before we go and that is miss Ariane curry now she's back in the game you know after we done talked about her getting her ass whooped and all this other stuff because she's messing with somebody else's husband allegedly now she decided to take to instagram and post this right here now this is what she said she said why do y'all care about my life so much? It's giving very much weird. I can't post nothing without some Inspector Gadget ass bitch trying to piece some shit together. Y'all do the most. Rose eyes. Girl, listen, this is what, see, look, I, I really be trying to lay off of this girl, but I'm gonna need for Arian to stop acting like she's so damn important. You're not that fucking important. You're in the blocks because you want to be in the blocks. And I and I feel like I repeat myself every time I talk about this girl because she don't understand that she put herself in this situation. That's what she failed to realize. She failed to realize that she placed herself here. You don't want to be in the blocks. You don't want nobody to talk about you, but yet you are the one that exposed yourself as this man's mistress. You did that. You know everybody watches the show. You know that everybody talks about the show. You know that YouTube bloggers get a lot of hits from talking about this show. And you want to sit up here and be upset about people talking about you or people having an opinion about you. It's really fucking ridiculous if you ask me. Like... You really need to get over yourself. And I just feel like at the end of the day, it's just crazy to me. 
is really crazy to me, and I'm going to need for you to shut the hell up. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody obsessed with you, honey. We make money talking about you. That's the thing. We make money talking about you. So, therefore, you can just get over yourself. Whenever you do something, we're going to talk about it. Whenever that damn baby gets fed a blow pop at 6.30 in the morning, we're going to talk about it. Whenever you get your ass beat by somebody's wife, we're going to talk about it. Whenever you get on on um, online and get on live with your damaged ends, we're going to talk about it. Whenever you don't know the difference between a two-parent household, we're going to talk about it. That's what we're going to talk about. So you can get over yourself and you can be mad all you want to, but you place yourself in this predicament and you got to find a way to dig yourself out of it. And that's all I got to say about it, y'all. So with that being said, y'all, this be your boy Scott about Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever video drops. And also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, all you got to do is... um. Look at the description box and you will see my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok all down in the description box down below. And I'm going to let you guys know something. I actually do follow back on Instagram. Now, I, I, now I'm very fast to follow you back on Instagram. All you got to do is hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag Mrs. Team Scotty or hashtag Scotty Gang, and I would definitely follow you back. I really don't be on Twitter like that. I'll pop on to say a couple of things, make some random tweets or something like that, then I'll be gone. Or sometimes I'll be on there to tweet about the show but other than that like people be following me on twitter but i don't always follow back and then i just stop trying to i stop letting people into my facebook my that my facebook is way too private but with that being said you guys i'm out of here and with that being said i will leave you guys with a promo from nova cosmetics i'm out of here y'all peace